arts and sciences. Um, this composes of about 40% 40, 40 of our campus um, is these. This includes your histories, your English, um, your anthropologies, um, the, the creative writing aspects. So anything of that, that nature um, all falls under the liberal arts and sciences, as well as your biology and chemistries. Uh, so definitely um, a great thing that incorporates so many, so much of campus. Um, so you'll be definitely taking some classes that are liberal arts and sciences due to our core requirements. Um, we do have five areas where we do require students, which are all under the liberal arts and sciences. Um, we have our the math requirement, the social studies, the humanity, um, a natural science, which includes a lab, as well as um, a fine arts class, um, something with, to do with music um, and the arts. Um, so those are the five areas where we require all students to take at least one class in. So that, that way makes you a well-rounded individual, um, which is um, one of the best things that you can have. It really makes a Butler degree so much better because you are so well-rounded and adverse in all these different areas. Uh, now in terms of sciences, um, we do offer um, a couple different sciences that you can participate in. Um, and take classes in. We have uh, physics, biology, chemistry, as well as astronomy. Um, so we have a large range of different types of sciences that you can take advantage of. Uh, we have our very own um, telescope here, so with astronomy, you can definitely take um, a look up at the stars as well. So, um, you know, going to the telescope, looking up. Um, we had a lunar eclipse a couple years ago where a lot of students went um, on the weekend to check it out, so that way um, they were able to see it through the big telescope. Uh, so definitely something to do, not only class-wise, but another activity that you can do outside of class. Um, so that's another thing that you can participate in.